What's going on, guys and girls? We are coming at you live from Lakeland, Florida, dead in the center of the state, and we are on a mission. What is that mission? This is week two with my lucky Johnny Cash, man in black shirt, and we are out to get the Russian roulette Moscow mule himself, good times real estate, the one and only Ralph, whatever his last name is, I can't hardly pronounce it, but it's something like Solomonov or something, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so back to the thing. We are here with the whole crew, and we're going out, and we're going to go and get the best deals that we can and sell what we can. Now, so a little update from last week. I haven't posted everything from last week because one, I'm not as serious about this as he is. I was kind of just doing it for fun. I'm gonna to try to get a little more serious about it um, and just see what happens. I did buy a little car. Uh, you guys didn't see it in the video. It was a little blue car, old tin car, vintage car for $2. It was broken, has a screw in the side of it. I thought no one's gonna buy it. Maybe put it on their desk because it does kind of look cool. Uh, you should insert a, video, a I picture put, of it. Yeah, I can put a picture up, um, but I wound up putting this video, I mean, uh, that on uh, eBay, and I have over 300 and something views, 11 watchers, about two days left on it, and it's already up to 1850 with um, a couple more bids in there going. That was my little one. So, uh, anyways. Hey, hey, we're trying to make a video. All right, guys, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit some yard sales. We're gonna find some stuff. We're not gonna try to buy for ourselves today. We're gonna try to buy for what we think can make money. Uh, I've got one washer on the Jim Kelly helmet. Uh, starting bids 55 bucks. We'll see if that person bids if, as it goes through finally. So uh, wish us luck and tune in because we're gonna have some great footage. Thanks. All right, so we got uh, trash to cash right here. Ralph, you just got a deal. It's been tight, man. We've gone to a lot of yard sales, but today yeah. has not been we haven't hardly bought anything. No, it hasn't so, been that good. What do you got here? Um, well, it's kind of dirty, you can tell, obviously. Yeah. I got it for $3. It's a pinball machine. Old school looking, very, it's made out of wood completely. Right. It's really cool. Can you spell that word for me? W-O-O-D. Uh -huh. okay. So there's no V in there at all, right? It's just, wood. It's not wood. <laughs> so, uh, cool. Yeah, all no, right. it's awesome. Um, we looked it up on the eBay. This thing goes for about 50, 60 bucks. Wow. I got it for three. So yeah, uh, the only thing that I put on the board myself today is I got this Tiger Clips thing. It's got the player, and then you put a little disc into the little tiny player. It's only about this ones. big. Yep. You plug it in, it plays that song for a second or so. Looked them up on eBay. The discs are going anywhere between three to five dollars each, or you can buy one with a disc uh, with the player for like 19, 15 to 19. So you'll I got 15 40, of them, so I'm thinking going to be a bucks. minimum of 30 to 40, 50 bucks by the time I sell it. I don't know if I'm going to piece it out or sell it as a whole. So I would sell um, it as a whole. It just kind of depends on how it's working. Yeah. Shipping on that's going to be super cheap. You can ship that with a stamp, probably. Yeah. It's just the one thing. So yeah. we'll see, guys. Uh, again, we've been to a lot of yard sales since just the deals have not been there. So. Uh, Buccaneers, yeah. He hasn't sold one dang cup and he keeps buying cups. Man, I mean, he's got they, a cup collection. Sell. He's gonna have a yard sale and be the same people getting yeah, rid of it. I'll so. be yard sales all everything yeah. for a dollar. You guys, tune wait in. for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hey, Michael here with another episode or completing the episode two of Trash to Cash. We went out and we met with Ralph and we hit the road. I had me, my wife, uh, my youngest daughter, my son with me. He wanted to join us and he's like, Dad, I want to try this too and see if I can make some money. He made his first buy, gave him 10 bucks and said, you do what you want with it. You can spend it on things for yourself or you can spend it on something that you know you can try to flip. And he, on his own, walking around the yard cell, he found this uh, little, it almost looks like a decanter of some sort. Uh, has no dates, no markings, looks kind of old. Maybe you guys know what it is, I'm not sure. But hey, he paid a dollar for it, he negotiated it himself and there you go. He's uh, He's on the board with something. What what it is, I'm having a hard time finding exactly what it is. It's Halloween today. Uh, a lot of people are closing up shop early. They got trunk or treats or fall festivals or trick or treating to go. So we didn't find a lot of yard sales. Um, Ralph's been doing the, the flipping, the trash to cash longer than I have. I've lived here in this area for 38 years, so I know these streets better than him. And so I kind of know where the yard sales are at. So I find them. And the problem with him knowing what he's doing now is that he, you have to race his little fat butt to try to beat him to something because he'll darn sure knock you over and try to, you know, bully you around and steal something from you. So, but it's all right. You know, we're, we're having fun. I, I actually found a, a Nintendo 64 game and I showed it to him. I was like, hey, I bet this would be cool. And he grabs it and he's like, hey, how much for this? And well, he's like a dollar and he's like, I looked it up and it's going for like 20 to 30 bucks. And I'm like, son of a gun. Should have never said anything. All right, but cutting it short, what did I get? I really got two things to put on eBay. As far as a quick update from last week, the helmet is up and the 
the taxi cab is up, and then I didn't show you, but I have a blue car that I put up also. Taxi cab has one view, that's it, nothing. I don't know what's going on, I gotta probably re-list re that one. The helmet has several views, about 40 or 50 views, <clears throat> has one watcher. It's got a starting bid of 55, but nobody's bid yet. Maybe that watcher will bid or he'll make an offer. So as long as we walk away with like 40 bucks from that helmet, I'll feel pretty good. Paid a dollar. Um, next, uh, I haven't posted the Star Trek glasses or the posters or, or a couple other things that I haven't even gotten a chance to post. I'm kind of slacking. What did we get this week? I really only got the two things. So here they are. This is late 90s, early 2000s. It's called Tiger Hit Clips. Okay, this was like before you could, you know, have MP3 players and stuff like that, but past the Walkman. It is a little boom box, and you have all these little computer discs here, like this, like little chips right there. Uh, like old Nintendo cartridges, the ones that kind of remind me of. And you would you take these, and there are all kinds of different songs. We've got Backstreet Boys, we got Jackson 5, Madonna, Enrique Iglesias, Vanessa Carlton, uh, Smash Mouth, Justin Timberlake, um, NSYNC, you know. And you take something like this. This is uh, I'm a Believer by Smash Mouth. I usually blow them. Just like the old Nintendo cartridges. You slide them in there. You hit this play button. There you go. I guess this was like really cool, you know? Like I can see some kid like in, in, in high school, whatever. Like, yeah, baby. Want to go to prom? Yeah. My dad will pick us up. Huh. So anyways, Ralph probably. He probably jammed this in Russia. Anyways, <laughs> I always give him a hard time. What did I uh, what did I pay for this? They wanted five for it. I asked, offered three. They took four. Um, on eBay, the unit itself is selling for about ten bucks. Uh, the the rest of these things are selling anywhere between three to ten dollars each. There's fifteen of them here. If I could get ten for this, fifteen uh, five for each one of these. There's fifteen of them. That's sixty bucks plus ten. That's seventy. So that'd be great. Turning uh, four dollars into seventy would be awesome. Stopped at another one on the way home, and we found these uh, jewelry. I don't know much about jewelry, but I thought these were really cool. Kind of caught my eye. Almost looks uh, very custom, handmade style stuff, like soldered here on this metal. It's pretty neat. But these are uh, uh, jewel K uh, necklaces, a faux pearl necklace uh, with some with the mark there, jewel K originals. And then you got life on the back here. It says uh, happiness is the key, and then you have a key inside the shadow box. It's pretty heavy. This stuff is pretty legit and heavy. Um, I got another one here, another pearl necklace with some ornate stuff here, and uh, it says rose. And then you got a rose in there, and then we have charms that can go along with it. Get the rose. The same thing there. It says be yourself because everybody else is taken. Ooh yourself because everybody else is taken and there you go there's a beat that's really cool that's the first one I saw I was like that's neat uh, piece on the back these symbol again they're all jewel K uh, every day I love you it's a heart they're all especially tagged then there's this thing uh, this kind of as another JK not the JK Ron that wrote Harry Potter but jewel K uh, I don't know what this thing is it's like a little bunch of little dingleberry looking things but whatever I don't this isn't for me this is the cell. So, uh, I only wear jewelry like this uh, every other Saturday. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so I looked this stuff up. I'm pretty confident that I can get, with the charm and the necklace together, I can get probably somewhere a starting bid around 10, you know, and maybe go up. So, we got the two necklaces, that's 10, 10. And then we have the separate charms plus the dingleberries. That's one, two, three, four, five. If I can get five each for those, that's 25, 35, 45, okay? Plus if I can get about 70 for the other, we're looking at $115 profit on $9 spent. For all that jewelry, I spent five bucks. So I spent $9 total. Uh, I did buy something for myself. I bought this Salter uh, scale. I was gonna waste stuff to be able to ship it for eBay, do my own uh, labels here and print it. Lady said it works. I got home. It just needs a battery. It just needs a battery. That's what they always say. Just needs a battery. Well, I put a freaking battery in it. Don't work. It's got error codes and all kinds of crap. It's covered in white powder. So I was thinking, hoping it's flour, but who knows? They might have weighed too many, you know, eight balls or dime bags on here, and that's freaking, you know. Okay. Anyways, so uh, with that said, that's Trash to Cash, episode two. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm a little more confident in the things that I bought this week. Um, I was pretty confident last week. I thought that taxi cab for sure was going to sell. It's really cool. Um, and I'm not sad that it hasn't sold because I really like it. Um, the helmet, I really thought the helmet was going to sell. That piece of crap blue car that I bought, I must be missing something because 
that have 350 views and 15, 14 or 15 watchers on it, it's something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. I don't care. I pay $2 for it. So if I sell it for 20, I mean, I'm going to have the shipping covered. I'm charging 18 bucks to ship it. So that should be enough to safely ship it by package for it and all that stuff. So we'll see. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm learning. I'm new to this. It's just a, it's something fun. It's exciting. And um, so $9, let's say we turn it into even 50 bucks. That's great. Nine into 100, even better. Nine into 115 or more, we're killing it. Will I make that? Probably not. That's the reality. You can post crap, but it doesn't mean it's going to sell. So the realistic side of this thing is, is don't buy too much, guys. Don't, you know, until you really, until you get the niche market of what's going to sell. I've learned a few things uh, from doing it already a few weeks. I can, you know, things I know if I see I'm going to buy, because I know that they sold and how quickly they sold for other people. Uh, but we'll see uh, but other things. Like Ralph. We call him Mug Life Ralph. He buys mug and mug and mug and mugs. Coffee mugs. And things are not selling. Man. Good for him. He says it's great because some guy on YouTube says to watch it. And he buys mugs or whatever. Or whatever. You guys also a millionaire. And here's this mug selling. I can't probably just drink coffee out of a different mug than you do as a can. But anyways, again, if you like any of this stuff, you're interested in this stuff, go to my eBay account. If not, shoot me a private message on YouTube. Alright guys, take care and that's episode 2 of Trash Cash. Get out there and make yourself some extra money.